second home edition. I hope you guys had a good spring break. I'm so excited for school on Monday. We'll have more news about that coming up. But see, this some amazing visits from our students and staff. Yes, we have things like what to do when you're stuck at home, some cooking videos, life on the farm, and so much more. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and ring the little bell to get notifications when we po post a new video. Mr. Blackwood has some great ideas on what to do when you're stuck at home and far away from loved ones. But still the are! Hi, this is Mr. Blackwood again, and I'm back with some ideas for reading. Most importantly, if you are a younger student in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, that you need to be reading with your family, with your parents. Your parents can read to you, you can read to them. It's so exciting. Mr. Blackwood himself has two grandchildren and he loves to read with them all the time. But unfortunately, in these times when we have to stay separated, Mr. Blackwood has to read to them over FaceTime. So I just wanted to share, sorry, had to reach over here, a couple of things. One of the things that, that we do that we read often is Disney classics like 101 Dalmatians. I also have Peter Pan and Aladdin. Um, Frozen, some of those other classics that have come up, up across, and Mr. Blackwood reads those to his grandchildren on FaceTime. But Mr. Blackwood's four-year-old grandson, his favorite is Mike Mulligan and the Steam Shovel. His Steam Shovel, this is an amazing book. It's so fun and full of interesting things. The kids love these. So go ahead, parents, read those with your kids. Kids, read them on your, own, on your own if you can. For my older students, I would recommend, um, if you're interested in sports, read Mike Lupica's books. Mike is um, an amazing author for young adults, and his stories about sports and those things are amazing. Currently, Mr. Blackwood is reading something that might be a little bit high level for some of you, but I think some of my fifth and sixth grade students might be able to read it. I'm reading Clive Cussler. I realize that there's a sticker right here, but um, Clive Cussler, uh, this one is called Rising Sun, but he has written a number of books and they are super adventurous, very exciting. So I would recommend checking these out. Have a great time. We will eventually see you soon. Thank you. My name is Mason Lewis. Welcome to Distance Learning. So Mark Hopper is having distance learning, probably other schools too. So this is my distance learning space. Hi, my name is Jed Tallow and this is my distance learning space. This is my learning space. I'm Quentin, and this is my distant learning space. I'm Kylie Ann. I do my distant learning at my kitchen table. You can do distant learning anywhere, um, in your room, outside, on the floor, at a desk, at a table, anywhere you feel like it. Wow, everybody's distance learning in space looks amazing. Remember, next Monday school starts. You might want to take some learning breaks outside. Just remember to be safe. Thank you, Nicole and Emily, for submitting a video to help us with bike safety. Let's check it out. Yes, getting exercise is important. Like the bikers did, we need to stay six to ten feet apart with a parent if we go out to ride our bikes. Now we have Life on the Farm from Paige. Let's take a look and go to the farm. This is Life on the Farm. 
live on a farm with lots of cows or cattle. These are black Angus. That is a type of beef cow. These are all females. They will all be mothers soon. Cows eat a lot of grass and hay, but mostly grass. These two calves were born, just born. Baby calves can walk within an hour after they're born. We've had a lot of babies born around here. Once they stand up, they begin drinking milk. In the evening, the calves are very active. It is fun to watch them run and play. I hope you enjoyed watching our life on the farm. Bye. Wow, that looks so cool. I can't wait to try it out. Do you know what else is really cool? Board games. So let's check out Jet. My name is Jet Tatlow. We recently just bought a few more board games because we're stuck at home. This is one of my favorites. It's called Perfection. You have to put all these shapes inside of one of the shapes and try to get them all in there and, and uh, wait for the timer. Hurry. What? What? Pick a new one, pick a new one, pick a new one. I can't find it. Pick a new one. <laughs> That's scary. Okay. Can you sign off? Wow. <laughs> wow, that looks like a really interesting game. Let's see what Kylie Ann's doing. This is Kylie Ann bringing you how to sew a mask with a bendable nose, head straps, breathable, and comfortable. The materials you will need are two layers of dishcloth, one layer of decorative cotton, each 7 by 9 inches for adults, 6 by 8 for kids, half of a pipe cleaner, which is 6 inches, the top elastic, 11 inches, and the bottom elastic, 9. After you have all your materials, you will take your decorative cloth, cotton, and put, face, and put it face side down, or right sides together, on your dishcloth. After you've done that, you will sew your long sides together. I put four pins in my fabric to make sure it wouldn't move on me. I'm going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end of my fabric. After you have sewed both your long edges, you will take both elastics and put them through here. You might have some excess, so just let it loosen here. You're going to do the same thing to this elastic. You're going to put it through these two claws. Then you will pin it. Once you have pinned in all your elastic and put it through your cloths, you are going to sew it. But you're, only, you're going to sew all the way across one side. But on the other side, you're only going to sew like an inch and a half of through, your, through here. Because you need an opening still through the middle. Don't forget to do your back stitches.
once you have sewed your edges, you will turn your fabric right side out. Once you have turned your fabric right side out, you are going to iron. Be sure to have these folded as your side that was sewed, that's folded, should be folded in as the others. This step will make it a lot easier in the long run. Now you will take your pipe cleaner and stick it in the longer side. This side where it has the longer elastic will be the top of your mask. You will stick it on the top of your mask where the nose will be. Now you will take three pins one on the side of your pipe cleaner, the second in the middle of your pipe cleaner, and your last pin at the end of your pipe cleaner. Now they you have your pipe cleaner in, you're going to stitch it in so it will stay. Um, you're going to move your fabric so you know where the end of your pipe cleaner is. You're going to put this right here. You're going just going to sit, stitch back and forth a little and only like two stitches. And then you're, while your needle is still in the fabric, you're going to turn it and stitch all the way down along your pipe cleaner. When you reach the end of your pipe cleaner, you're going to do the same thing that you did on this side. Just turn it and go back and forth. At this point, you want to sew closed your hole. You want to stay very close to the edge. The best way to do this is holding your fabric like this. Don't forget to back stitch. You can have help getting closer to the pipe cleaner with, from a parent or guardian because if you hit the pipe cleaner, your needle will break. Could break. Could break. The next thing that we'll be doing is pleating our masks. Three pleats. You want them to be small or else you won't have enough fabric to make three pleats. Don't forget to your back stitch when you're sewing your pleats down. The last step on your mask is to cut all the long strings. And then, voila, you have a mask. If you want to make it more effective, you can spray a salt solution on the outside of the mask. Those masks are awesome. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can still do it with a needle and thread by following the same directions. Now let's take a different direction and learn how to create magical pictures in a free editing software. Hey guys, it's Quentin, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make yourself levitate in GIMP, which is a photo manipulation software. First, you want to take two photos, one of an empty space, and the second one with you sitting or standing on a stool in that empty space, but make sure not to move the camera at all in between, because that is very, very important. Then, you want to email the photos to yourself, download them to your desktop and your computer, and go to File, Open as Layers, go to Desktop, go to the one without you, Open, 
go to File, Open as Layers, then to the one with you. Then you want to right click on here, select Add Layer Mask, hit Add. Then you want to go to your toolbox and select the pencil tool, and then just start wiping away the stool. And that is basically how to do it. And if you really want, you can like erase shadows and stuff like that. But that is the complete basics. There is like some other stuff that you have to do, like maybe erase the shadows on the floor, stuff like that. But that is how to make yourself levitate in Photoshop. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And that's it. See you next time. Wow, I can't wait to try those out. Let's look at some chalk from Connor. Guys, this week we did Chalk the Walk. Let's check out some pictures. That chalk walk looks like so much fun. These are some great video ideas. Everyone has such good ideas on what to do while they're at home, cooking, and so much more. Online school starts this Monday the 20th, so make sure you have your le distance learning space ready. Make sure you have some paper, pencil, crayons, and a device to do your online school on. Don't forget, if you want to know, Joseph Kerr is still continuing to serve breakfast from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can get your lunch for that day and breakfast for the next morning. I hope everyone has a great weekend and amazing school week. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification button for every time we post a new video. Also, if you want to get featured in MM News, just send Miss Null an email. Bye, Mustangs.